Hey guys, hey guys, it's me, Drew, and I have about a million and one videos that I need to make today. Um, my webcam was broken for the longest time, but I finally got it fixed, finally back up and ready to go. So the first order that I have, I am so excited, it is from Bento Wax Company. My friend recently gave me, um, let me see if I can find them, they gave me two, three packs of Bento Wax to try out, and I instantly got hooked. And they gave me Chamomile Rose, which is a rose jam scent by Lush and Black Chamomile. And they gave me Did You Know Coconuts Are Coconuts, which is lavender and coconuts. I've melted one of each, and I was saving the rest until I could place an order, because I needed to. And I've placed a couple pre-orders from Bento, um, and a couple other orders, but she recently had an opening on Small Business Saturday for a few items, few mystery boxes, and as well as some other things. I came into it late because um, I was at work and I couldn't get off to order. So I did place one order. I got a sampler and I got two mystery boxes. So we'll start with the sampler. So it comes, I pulled them out, but it comes in a Chinese to-go box, which is like super cute. And Bento Wax Company is a lady named Allie. I've been really reading a lot on her Facebook page, really watching a lot of her videos on Facebook and finding out a lot about her company. She is getting married this weekend, so happy wedding um, to you, Allie, if you're watching this. I don't know if you are or not. But I'm super excited. I got a bunch of cool stuff, so let's just get right into it. Um, and yeah, let's start. So this sampler is called the B-Man Sampler, which, if quote me if I'm wrong, this is a sampler inspired by her son Branson. He, it's some of his favorite scents. So the first one is Penny Drop. Now, as you can see, it says Bento Wax Company, the name, and this she calls Benny the Bento, Bento Roll. And then it has the scent description and the date, but instead of freshly poured, like a lot of vendors do, it says freshly rolled, which is super, super adorable. And her wax, about a two-week um, cure time. Most of this stuff, I pretty much all of this stuff, is absolutely ready to melt whenever I want. So she's famous for her sushi rolls, which look like this. Most Typically, they're about two different colors. They're just adorable. So this one is Penny Drop, and her baggies are the thickest polypropylene bags ever. They feel so satisfying, like in your hand, they're so thick. So Penny Drop is fresh rain, vanilla, jasmine, lavender, and orange. I love this. This is really yummy. It's very like a Bath & Body Works lotion-esque, is how I describe it. I can smell some Bath & Body Works type smell in it, but I'm not sure exactly what. It just smells very floral, very fresh. This will be nice for the spring. Uh, I know a cup, a bunch of people use half of a sushi roll, but I have a lot of sushi coming, and I also have a lot of um, wax in general, so I'm probably just going to do a whole roll, but I'll experiment and see. Those I used a whole roll, and it was perfectly fine. The next one is Bento Wax Co. Family, which is lavender, lemon, fresh picked strawberries, and barber shop, which is like a shaving cream scent, which I'm all about. So this one is purple and yellow, and to me, I pick up on the fresh picked strawberries and the lavender. The lemon a tiny, tiny bit, but I'm not getting any barbershop, which stinks, because I love shaving cream. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not really picking up on the barbershop. But now that I am into vendor wax again, and like hardcore into vendor wax, I am going to make melted videos every month of stuff that I melted, so... Or maybe a couple weeks, depending on how much I melt. So this next one is I Love You More, which is Love Spell, Lavender, and Pink Sugar. And this one is like a light blue, purple, and pink. I don't smell pink sugar, which I'm super glad about. I don't love pink sugar, but this smells really good. I can pick up on the Love Spell and Lavender. Like I said, I don't smell a lot of pink sugar, but it's good. It's just very fresh. I believe this is, um, like I said, his favorites. This next one, Speckle or Special or Speckle. I don't know. But this one is Fruit Loops and American Cream, which is a lush conditioner dupe, which is strawberries and cream. So this is pink and blue. 
and I get 50% American Cream and 50% Fruit Loops. I love Fruit Loops. I love cereal scents, so I knew I was going to love this one. And I do. Oh, it smells so good. So, 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 so good. The next one is Strawberry Cupcake, which is pretty self-explanatory. It smells like a strawberry cupcake. <laughs> I love these bags. And this is like a red and a white. And that's exactly what it smells like. Strawberry cupcakes. Equal parts strawberry and cake. And it's still delish. Delish, delish. I love her wax. I love her wax shape. I love everything about her wax. It's so cute. And she is super hands-on as a company, which I really like. And super, like, transparent. So this one is a thousand and one parties. Yeah. Blonde Moment, Lemonade, and Rainbow Sherbet. I cannot remember what Blonde Moment is. A lot of vendors dupe it, but I don't remember what it is. And this is like Super Lemonade Sherbet is to me what it smells like. And I know I have a one from Vintage Chic Sense that also has Blonde Moment in it. And I just, I don't remember what Blonde Moment is. I can't. So if you guys know, please comment down below. Mm, this is so good. Super bright. Then we got Bento Wax Mom, which is Bedtime Bath, Clean Cotton, and Midsummer's Night. Now, I have a description for this. So Midsummer's Night is almost like a men's cologne type smell from um, Yankee Candle. And this guy is like two different light blues. To me, this smells like if Yankee Candle took Midsummer's Night and turned it into a body wash or bubble bath or whatever. Like, you know whenever you take a candle scent and they turn it into a body product? It smells the same, but it has, like, that base to it of the soapiness. That's what it smells like, like a soapy Midsummer Night, which is bedtime bath, clean cotton in Midsummer Night. So it makes sense. But it's really good. I really like this. And I don't love Midsummer Night on its own. So I love that. I love that a lot. So that was the B-Man sampler. Like I said, I believe that's what that was called. And that was four. That was seven. Um, sushi rolls. Then we have two mystery boxes. Now, they weren't separated in the box, so I'm not exactly sure which um, they were. Like, which I got a Fruity and Fresh and a Bakery, so I guess I can kind of figure it out. But what I do love is she included three body care products, which I'm really excited about. One I already used in the shower today because I was like, I have to try this. And this is a Silky Shower Gel in Futon Roll. Now, I did order shower gels from her coming in the pre-order. I ordered three, but I was really excited. I also ordered Futon Roll in a regular roll. I believe this is like a creamy lavender pink sugar like relaxing scent and to me I can't put my finger on exactly what this smells like but I know this smells somewhere I'm not 100% sure but oh a little bit of olive branch that's what I pick up olive branch from Lush that's weird that's exactly what it smells like and if you can see it's very thin I put a little bit on my loofah and it bubbled up like crazy. It didn't feel stripping or anything. It felt so nice. I'm really excited to try some indie shower gels because shower gel is my favorite product in the world. And this doesn't go this doesn't uh, go wrong for me. And it's so cute with a little bento roll on there. So that was futon roll. Then she got I got a scrub, which is called a Terrible Fate. And this is a whipped sugar scrub. Now, I do know that these have been discontinued for until further notice for those scrubs. So I didn't order any during the pre-order. It was the last pre-order for them because I didn't want to get them, like them, and never have them again. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not even going to touch it. But I'm happy that I did get one in the thing. Now, these are extremely thick scrubs, as you can see. I used a little bit on my hand, and it felt really nice. It doesn't feel oily or anything like that. I have no idea what a terrible fate description is. It smells like bakery to me. This has to be part of the bakery sampler. I don't know. It's like a blueberry or blackberry. Some sort of bakery. But it smells really good. And then last, I got... Jerugmo, 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 which is a body spray, 
really cute and it also has a little bento roll on it. Now to me, this smells very men's cologne. -y. Whoops. And there's my 10 minute mark where my computer goes to sleep. But I didn't lose you guys. No, I didn't. Um, yeah, this just smells very, it's a very strong spray. Um, it just smells like a men's cologne. I'm not 100% into this smell. Um, I might use this as like an air freshener in my car or something. I don't know. I don't know what this is. I have to look up the description, but that was a body spray. So that was a couple things from Mr. Box. And then the rest is all wax. So we'll continue along with the singles because that's what I have the most of. Or that's what I've been doing, I should say. Two of these I'm not too crazy about, and it's for the same reason. So this one is the Halloween roll. This is pumpkin, pecan, waffles, candy corn, candy, apples, and toasted marshmallow. I don't like pumpkin, pecan, waffles. It's not that... I don't hate it, but I just don't like it. I have no desire to buy that candle, to buy anything. Like, if I see a scent list and I see something that's pumpkin, pecan, waffles, I won't buy it. Because I just, I don't like it. But if I get it in a mystery box, it's not like, ugh, I'll never melt it, but I don't love it. And this is what that smells like to me. I don't smell anything else. I just smell pumpkin, pecan, waffles. A little apple, but mostly pumpkin, pecan, waffles. It's like a Halloween color, but I'm going to save that for next Halloween and see what I think of it, but I'm not too in love with that. And then this one is Good Morning, which is black raspberry vanilla and pumpkin pecan waffles. And it's like equal black raspberry vanilla and pumpkin pecan waffle. This is more tolerable than the Halloween roll, so I might melt this pretty soon. I don't know. It's whatever. It's fine. Like I said, I don't love pumpkin pecan waffles. If you like pumpkin pecan waffles, you like that. And then we have lemon sea. I love lemon sea. This one is lemon mint leaf and salty sea air. This smells really good. It smells like lemon mint leaf, the candle from Bath and Body Works, which I believe Allie doesn't like, the one who owns the company. I don't believe so, if I'm wrong, but I don't think that she likes that. And salty so here. And this one has a little wax pour over on the top, which I think is so cute. It makes for the sushi. I really like that. It's really fresh. And then it came with two three packs. One is North Pole Peppermint Sticks and Creamy Vanilla. This was so ready for Christmas. I'm super excited. And this is a three pack. I got a lot of these three packs in the pre order. Oh, this is so good. Equal peppermint stick. Equal vanilla. Really, really cute. I love these. I don't know how they pour these. It's crazy. Oh, I love that. I love the North Pole. This I could totally see using in a shower gel because of the peppermint, but it's creamy. It's almost like Twisted Peppermint from Bath & Body Works, but not exact. And then we have Snow Cake, which is a lush snow cake soap dupe, I believe, which is cinnamon, rose, and benzoin resin. Benzoin resin. And this is like just a pure white melt. And it smells just like snow cake soap. 100% to a tea. It smells just like it. I love the smell of snow cake soap. It's like an almond frosting. I wouldn't say cinnamon and rose. I just smell like an almond frosting. But I love these packs. I do have their advent calendar, which I am patiently waiting to open till December 1st because I'm so excited to get that. Then we have four scent shots. This one is Sweater Candy. So this is Sweater Weather and Candy Apples. Now this is actually a vendor that smells like Sweater Weather the Candle and Candy Apple. I smell half and half exact Candy and Apple and Sweater Weather. But it smells really good. I love the Sweater Weather Candle from Bath & Body Works. This is really, really cool. So I like that. Then Cider Lane, which you can never have too much Cider Lane. It's mulled cider, cinnamon, and caramel. It's also a dupe for Bath & Body Works, like a caramel apple. And this is like a pure caramel apple. Hers is a touch more cinnamony than I than I remember Cider Lane the candle being, but it's still it's still yummy. And I would cut these in half. And then we have Lord of the Fluffs, which is really good. It's Lord of Misrule, which is a lush scent. Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla Bean Noel. And 
I don't smell anything but the Lord of Mithril. Maybe when I melt it, it'll come out. But, oh my lord, does it smell so good. Oh. oh it smells so good. Oh, so good. So good. And then I got Pure Grace, which is a philosophy dupe, which says leafy greens and soft musk, making a fresh, clean smell. And I know philosophy describes this scent as like soap and water clean. And it does. It smells like somebody just got out of the shower just using a bar of soap that's like not scented. That's good. I like that too. It'll be a good like bathroom or like bedroom melt to like clean the air. But anyway, that was 15 minutes. That was two mystery boxes and a sampler from Bento Wax Company. There's plenty of Bento um, on the way. So I'm really excited. Love Bento Wax Company. Love Allie. And again, happy marriage, Allie. Happy wedding day. If you're watching this on wedding day or before wedding day or just happy day in general. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.